Hey there, welcome to Rose. In this video, we'll be looking at how to extract specific data points from a date column using our AI analyst and then generate insightful tables and charts. Let's dive right in. So here I've got a sample data set from an e-commerce store, which is order related data. And this is the date column. So once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and trigger our AI analyst. And to start with, I'm going to just extract year from date column should be happening in the background is a new column should be added with just the year here. And as you can see, our AI analyst is using the year function to essentially generate the output. Next, let's add a column for month name just to see what happens next. And it takes a couple seconds for it to process. There you go. Now the AI analyst has created a text function with this particular format. You might be curious as to what you can do with this data. So here's something that you may want to try. So I'm going to say summarize the count of new orders by year and have month as header sort by year. So what this would do is essentially create a summary table with year on column one and then all the different months as the headers. It's essentially generating a pivot table out of this. Let's see what that'll look like. Let's give it a couple of seconds. And there you go. You have this column A, which is the year column and all the other columns for the month. Next, let's fetch the weekday name from the date. Fetch weekday name from date. Hit enter, give it a couple of seconds. And there we have it. Uh, this time around again, the AI analyst has used the text function like so. And once we have this, we could then say, create a chart with the count of orders by weekday. And let's see what happens there. And there you go. This essentially can be used to analyze that the most orders have been placed on a Sunday. There's so much more you can do with our AI analyst. For instance, I could also ask create a column with year week just to see what that will look like. And there you have it. And this time around again, the AI analyst is using the text function with our specified format. And you can use these columns to analyze the data in much more detail. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.